great to talk about the arts. We were talking about yes. that with Angela a little bit earlier and how kids uh, don't get enough of it, quite frankly. It's gone out of our schools. Well, you're in luck if you're living in the Ottawa area, in particular the Canada area, because there is a brand new, the a brand new art studio called Masterpiece Art School. We're joined by Christian Alouache. Christian, welcome to the show. It's great, great to, to have you great here. Have and you really felt that this was something missing out in the Canada area, didn't you? Uh, yes, I, I noticed. Uh, I was doing private uh, classes and small groups, and I noticed there was a demand. And uh, and after years of teaching in Ottawa. I noticed also that there wasn't anything available really in the Canada area. So, um, so I thought I'd start something up, and it helps me too, <laughs> but, uh, because I love to do it. So, uh, and, uh, and then really there's a lot of families moving to Canada, and, uh, and, then, and I have been noticing too that uh, throughout the school system, there isn't really a lot of art classes being uh, uh, offered. Yes. And, uh, and then I wanted to give back, and part of the reason that I initially moved to Canada was because I live in a co-op there uh, was to be part of my community and then this is kind of an extension beyond that. Now you're offering art classes for adults as well as children. Yes. And they're sort of program classes. They're eight weeks long or so? Yeah, they are we eight weeks long. Uh, the kids classes right now that I'm offering are uh, cartooning, uh, illustration which is actually teens and adults because I, I'm trying to uh, feel kind of the interest. Right. And, uh, and I have painting for um, uh, adults, which is acrylics and oils, Okay. Uh, but usually water-soluble oils because okay. of tox toxicity, uh, and uh, drawing and painting for children uh, six, uh, 7 to 13. Well, you're okay. going to walk us through a little bit of a demo here, yeah. and Caitlin's going to be able to show her artistic I heard you're good. skills. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know that's what I Look out, Christian. people. <laughs> uh, so what are you going to be doing with, with Caitlin here? Well, I'd like to start with uh, basics, and I'd like Caitlin to follow. Basics is good. Yeah. Basics is good. <laughs> uh, Caitlin, to follow along in drawing uh, a head and then trying to make it look nice. It's, it's pretty, All right. As pretty as you are. Oh, <laughs> oh very nice. So, <laughs> very nice. So uh, there's a, a couple of uh, basics. Uh, well, one, we're going to start with an oval. Okay. okay. So I just draw exactly what you're drawing. Yeah, you, you just All follow right. along, but you see how I'm drawing a little bit lighter? My hand's shaking here. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. You notice how I got you to do it, Caitlin. Yes. Yeah, see, most people do try to do it all in one swoop like that, which That's is a wrong? mistake. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mistake number one. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so uh, usually I kind of feather. Okay. So, uh, now why feather? What, what? Well, one, because I'm using a marker, but then ultimately when I do the final lines, I'm going to put them thicker, and you won't even notice these, these okay. marks. Because okay. I, it's like, in, in, by the end, you'll be focused on what I want you to focus on, which is like the clean contours. All right. Okay. All right. So there's a couple of things. One, if you're doing any sort of face, uh, the eyes kind of go somewhere just below the, the uh, just above the midway point. Now, do I draw that line? You can, but you have to draw it lightly. Okay. I think I won't. You're just going to guesstimate? Okay. Guesstimate. There you yeah. go. All right. And then uh, just so you know, the, the nose line is just above, above the midway point from the eye line to the chin. Okay. Okay, All okay right. good. And then uh, the mouth line is just above the midway point from the, the right. nose line. So these so, are some of the techniques that we could expect to learn taking yeah, your class? Because the, yes, because uh, the key thing, and then you draw one line right down the middle. All right. The reason for this is the key to any good drawing and any good looking person, basically, is uh, symmetry. Right and okay. proportion. And if you get that before, even if your drawing's bad and you don't really know how to draw, if you get like one eye looking like the other eye, everything's centered. You're ahead of the game. Yes, because <laughs> symmetry is key. And sometimes okay. in, in fashion magazines you'll notice that uh, they'll double up the face, you know, if it's like uh, some mascara ad or something. Right. You'll, they'll just use the same eye just over, oh. you know, like just oh, double it I over didn't know that. because, you know, everybody's kind of askew and all messed up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me when you say that? <laughs> it's kind of uncomfortable. It, it's, it's a fact, but it's, it's kind of interesting. And that's why Picasso really noticed it, you know? Right. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so, and then you put the eyes in. All right. And the key is to, like, uh, to put them about one eye's width apart along that, that line. Okay. Okay. So, right. you can go ahead and, and draw them in. Put your eyes in there. Uh, well. And put, put yeah. detail. Oh, okay. now you're right. This adding. looks like... You Michael can or? add detail, Caitlin. Oh, I can. Yeah. Oh, All it right. looks like, uh, so what's the, that? The Freddy or whoever. No, it's oh, this? Uh, Friday the 13th. Yeah. yeah really? we got to show everybody at home quickly. <laughs> You'll know what we're talking about. Oh, hers. Yeah. Hers, yeah. A little bit of the hockey mask look right there. Right? 
Yeah, well, we're going to make it uh, pretty, hopefully. I'm going to make mine pretty and, you know. Yeah, mine. Well, yeah, she's, gonna, she's working on the details. It's yeah. coming. So. All right. So do the eyes as, as you like. I mean, you don't have to necessarily do them like I do. All right. Um, Probably. Well, that's you, the beauty you, you could of, do, of art. You uh, could do bubble eyes if you want. But. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's good. No, she's, yeah, he's got the googly eyes there. No, I like yours. yours. And uh, the nose. So the key to everything is always going to be symmetry. Okay. Right. Symmetry. All right. So you make sure that the middle of that nose, that button nose, which you got a great button nose, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's a second good compliment. For <laughs> you should be good for a while. Um, <laughs> you should be good for a while. That's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> so mine may look a little askew because I'm actually drawing on an angle. Right. You know. So my. Oh, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then uh, other thing is to know, you know, and I go over this in my classes. But it's really one of the fascinating things is the eyebrows are actually connected to the nose. And if huh. you follow the, the bridge of the nose, it's actually, they go into the eyebrows. Very cool. Yeah. It's kind of fascinating. And sometimes I would... This is looking really good. Yeah. For me, this is phenomenal. This is, this this is really phenomenal is. for We're, me. We've run out of time, Christian, so oh. let everybody know how they can get in touch with you if they're interested okay. in signing up for classes. It's uh, masterpieceartschool.ca. Uh, okay. And... Uh, Classes start uh, next Tuesday and Wednesday, so sign up now. You're located on March Road? March Road, 750 right? March Road. 750 March Road, there you go. And look at, Caitlin was afraid that she didn't have any artistic <laughs> talent, and look what he's been able to do in, in a six-minute period. Yeah. That's very well done, Caitlin. Yes, thank you, Christian. Yeah, thank Thanks you. very much, My Christian. Pleasure. Appreciate it. Listen, don't go anywhere. We'll be back talking about kidney disease and the importance of raising awareness right after the break.